find the missing number from the given responses so if you see there's a three by four table given to us numbers are six i mean column wise 681 30 uh, 351 542 585 20 51 20 question mark I'm sure you will try three, four attempts. You will not get any clue. I mean, that's what had happened to me. You should be really, really smart in, you know, decoding things if you can crack this in one attempt. Yeah. Now, there's no point in me trying out various things here, right? It's it's like hard to decide how are we able to. First of all, it's complicated to find out whether it is a row wise operation or a column wise operation. That itself is a challenge, right? Because both ways it looks OK. Now, without wasting any time, without doing all those trial and error uh, steps, which are usually supposed to be done in the exam. Let me give you the solution. The interesting part here is the second row. This eight is actually not eight. It is eight power one. Sorry, 81 is not 81, it's eight power one. This 42 actually represents four squared. 51 represents five power one. Now you may ask me, how on planet should we know this? How should we know this? Yes, that's the question, right? You know what's my answer? I don't know. I'm being very straight and honest. I don't want to fool you or fool myself by saying that, yeah, you should practice and you'll get such ideas. You won't get such. I, I am sure I'll not get this idea in the exam. Yeah, I'll not get this idea in the exam. It's really hard. And after that, some operation needs to be done to arrive at the values here. Right? Like the result is this 6 into 8, 48 plus 3 gives you 51. 5 into 4 square is 16, right? So 5 into 16, 80 plus 5 gives you 85. Then 20 into 5 power 1 is 5. 20 into 500 plus 20 gives you 120. So 120 is the final answer option 4. If only 8 power 1, 4 squared, 5 power 1 were given, then it would have been easier. But 81, 42, and 51 to be taken as 8 power 1, 4 power 2, and 5 power 1 is something that it's hard to realize. Yeah. So I, I'll tell you what will happen with me in the exam. I'll spend about 15, 20, 25, 30 seconds maximum. And then I would have skipped this. Of course, having spent 30 seconds, not immediately. Because anybody would like to try. You would like to try it. So in my view, skip is the answer. The right answer to this question is option 5, skip. Ideally, technically the right answer is option 4, 120. Santosh was traveling in a railway compartment. There she met a man and five women. Each woman had a child in her arms. How many were there in the compartment? How many were there in the compartment? So basically, we have to find out the total number of persons. And this is like a very simple puzzle, right? I mean, it can be made a lot complex, but here I think it's simple. So who all are there in the compartment? Of course, Santosh, who's traveling in that compartment. She met a man there and five women. So what's the total? Santosh is one. This man is two and five women, seven. Each woman had a child in her arms. Five women. Each woman has a child. So total five children, right? So the count of children is five. Count of women is five. There's just one man and one Santosh. What's the total? Five plus five plus one plus one, 12. So option four, 12 is the answer. Be careful. Like we have seen here in your uh, chat responses, many of us mark the answer as option three to this one, which is wrong. We fail to count Santosh. Don't do that, right? I mean, generally when he says, how many are there in the compartment? We start from this man and five women. So man and five women is six. Each woman had a child. So six plus five, 11. And you mark the answer as 11. But who will count Santosh? Santosh is also traveling in that compartment. Yeah. So don't get too excited and mark the wrong answer in a hurry. Option four, 12 is the final answer.